Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Delusional's Arcade. So in this episode, we're washing another monitor. You can see here, I have all my stuff out. My simple green, my rubbing alcohol, my distilled water, my chassis, which I took out. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. This is washing a monitor safely and coming out with amazing results. Okay guys, so we're outside and I have a monitor here. It's a K7000. It's really, you can't really tell because it's so dark here, but let me go on the front here. You can see there's some burn in. You can see my shadow here. I have the sun pointing out it on purpose. You can see it says 60 right here. So I think this came from a top speed that was gutted. I kind of went over and saved the monitor. You can see down here too. I guess there was a speedometer there and stuff, miles per hour. So. We're going to go ahead, um, probably see if we can save this tube. If we can't, we can always swap it out. These are more common. These are the CR32 uh, backs, you know, with the neck on the back. So I'm just going to quickly give it a wash because this thing is really filthy. So before I do anything, of course, I'm going to discharge it and we're going to put it underneath. Put one hand in your pocket. It did not do anything. I'm just going to hold it there for a minute. Make sure it's good to go. Then we're going to lift this up. So this is where you start. You got to buy this monitor. I didn't get this for free. I actually got it for, I want to say 30 bucks working, which is a pretty good deal for a K7000. So you just got to look for the deals out there. I bought a coin door with it. So I got kind of a package deal. And uh, all right, so now that it's good to go, uh, you don't have to worry about getting anything in here i'll point to it actually real quick and make sure it's discharged again you can always wait a couple minutes but i didn't even see a spark so it's fine but basically right here water can get in there that's not a hole it's not going to get in the tube this is a vacuum tube which means no air is going to get in <laughs> or out so it's okay to do so there's one k7000s are super easy you just got to do those two screws right there let me just make sure I'm take off the neck board. This has been worked on because it, it was glued, but the glue was cut through. So I'm going to cut that off when I do it, just, you know, to make it nice and neat. And then over here, we'll just look. I'm looking for the degaussing circuit, which is right there. I see it now. So I'm going to pull that off. I'm going to actually pull out the whole thing here but i'm going to leave this neck board on because it's still connected but this piece just sometimes they're really tough to get out they're just so crowded up there we go they're pulled right off and it looks like they reversed it <laughs> so the red is on the outside the blue is on the inside the green is on the inside and the yellow is on the outside and i'm actually glad they cut it because sometimes you got to reverse them like this or whatever it is. You never want to cross these two, but you can reverse these like that in order to get it to be the right image on the screen. So red on the outside and green on the inside, yellow on the outside. Just want to stay it. It only goes in one way. It's keyed. So these are wider and these are closer together. You cannot put them on backwards by mistake. And now this is completely free. So you can wash this separately. I'll show you how to do that. Right now we have the tube, everything's good. And we're gonna clean it. Just make sure when you do wash it that there's no wood on the bottom. It will swell up if you have, I had a monitor one time I did in a previous video that I had MDF on the bottom and it swelled up, but I ended up just removing it, replacing it and it was fine. But you know, extra work for no reason. So I'm not gonna rinse it first. I'm just gonna go straight to Simple Green. I'm gonna put my scissors where they can't get wet. Same thing with these. And let's go ahead and just spray it on there. So don't worry about getting stuff in there. That's what you want. <laughs> you could always use a, uh, let it dry for a week or like what I do, I just use a uh, air, canned air, or in my case, I use a compressor. You can see right away, it's already, you know, getting wet. And you saw the before pictures. So now it's going all around underneath. And then I'll use the brush to kind of scrub it. 
You gotta be careful with the aqua dog though, so be careful, you don't wanna really scrub there. So I'm scrubbing just the front of it. And the sides, it's getting all that dirt. You could always do this by hand with a rag, but this is so much easier. So I'm just making sure I'm getting all the metal here. It's not gonna rust on you, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Get some on the side. You may lose stickers, so just keep that in mind on the side when you're washing them. If you don't wanna lose them, then you're not gonna to wanna to wash it with this method. But I find it the easiest. You're gonna to wanna to use a brush. You gotta be careful here, because sometimes the Aqua Dog will come off if it's water soluble. So. And then here, just lightly. Just to get the dirt off. You also got to be careful. You're messing with the rings. This one's glued, so I'm being a little rougher with it. But if it's not glued, be careful. You'll be move stuff, moving stuff around by mistake. So, all right. Let me get down here, inside, on the plastic there. I'm just. Yeah, you can see all the dirt just coming right off. It's just gross. <laughs> you wanna get the connectors. If you get water in here, just make sure you blow air in there or shake them out. Let it dry thoroughly. I'm gonna tilt it around here, get underneath. And then the water is really what does everything. You don't have to go crazy with this part. I'm just getting in the crevices is what I'm doing, really. There's that side and this side. If you really want to do a good job, I mean, you want to take this out too, but it's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it at all. I'm going to turn it on its front there. I did that a little too hard, actually. You don't want to crack the glass or, you know, mess it up in any way. And I'm just getting underneath here. I probably want to turn it sideways. Yeah, yeah, that's way better. Get underneath here. Right there, especially underneath. And that's it, you're just giving it a bath. Just like you would anything else. <laughs> All right, so let me get under here. Right there, there's a lot of dirt. And then don't forget the cords, because the cords a lot of times they're really dirty and the cables and stuff. So I'm gonna make sure it's all good. And that's it. So let's put it back this way. We'll get it a little bit more on here just to make sure. You know, you could use just the pressure of the, of this, but I usually use the brush. It works really, really well for me. And that's it. So now I'm just going to take the hose here. We'll do the chassis after, by the way. So I'm sending it to something really not strong. It's like shower. And you could be a little rougher on this part here, but you want to kind of not go too hard over there. You don't want to shoot anything off. Um, you don't want to do like, you know, strong streams. Nice shower is fine. I actually wash my car with this one because it's nice and soft. Uh, the other thing you want to be wary of is your neighbors are going to be like, why are you washing a monitor? You're nuts. <laughs> You're not nuts. You're restoring it. It's restoration, arcade restoration. So it's going to come out really good. Now you got the front. You can do a second coat if you want. I don't think I need to. It was mainly dust. Sometimes you'll get like, you know, soda spilled on it or something. Usually those are the monitors that don't work, but you'd be surprised. Now I'm gonna turn it like this, get underneath it like that. Make sure you get every crevice here and that's it. 
pretty basic. So now that this is done, let me just make sure I get the other side real fast. And the mailman's here now and he's looking at me like I have two heads. But no, completely fine. Good to go. Now we'll set it to the side to dry. So I'll turn it for you guys. I'm just kind of just spraying it everywhere. Different angles is very important. It's kind of hard with the sprayer. That's why you have the brush to help you out. And when I do monitors, I typically change out these pots here because they dry up. You know, I want it to last a long time. I don't want to have to worry about it. And you just want to gently go in here. You know, just uh, watch out for the horizontal width coil, which is right here. You want to be careful of that. Making sure it's good. You're going to have to reflow everything. That's just a typical thing you do with a cap kit. I don't think you need to change out the B plus cap, the filter cap. Just be gentle with these because they're plastic and they're brittle. You know, they heat up. Anything that heats up gets brittle over time, especially if it's old. Now these monitors are a little newer than let's say a G07. G07s you'll find in the golden era of games. And I'm just kind of going in right there, using the pressure to get things out. Getting in there, right? It's very important to get underneath the flyback piece of metal there, because you're going to be capping that. So you just want it as clean as possible. Same thing here. You can get it all in there. As long as it's dry, you can wet everything. These are the resist, I'm sorry, the uh, transistors for the chroma, chroma transistors. I had one that was actually blurry and switching these solved the problem. I had done everything. I switched the flyback, I capped it, I couldn't figure it out. I thought it was the pin that was off, you know, the focus pin or the knob. Turned out it was these little things. Very cheap to fix. Just be careful on the bottom. Sometimes there's jumper wires that are factory. There's the fuse. You might want to change that out. I usually change it out. Sometimes they get brittle and they, the fuse itself may be fine. When you take it out, the ends come right off. So I always usually change that out. It takes a second and it could take out a lot if it doesn't work right. <laughs> it's there for a reason. So there you go. I'm getting make sure to get the wires here. I'm doing the same thing, getting the wires, getting this. This one, notoriously dirty. This wire, I did not spray that at all, but it makes it nice and bright, pops, you can get in here, everything. Put that down, go through it like that, you know, just to get everything. So now let's just rinse it off. First, I'm going to rinse my brush here. All right. And then now just, that's it, just do it. Now, a buddy of mine, Buffett, you guys saw a video I had on him. Uh, he actually leaves his tubes outside, some of them. And when he needs a tube, he walks outside and grabs them. So water will not destroy a tube. It's vacuum. So, you know, usually the neck board will be on it so that it protects the pins from getting corroded. But uh, you can have them out there and not worry about it. So now I'm doing the bottom here. And then for the board, usually I don't do this for the, um, for the actual monitor. Depends how I feel, but you know, a lot of people say, well, you're getting corrosion. By me, my water is not rich in calcium, so it does not leave any white water marks. It's almost like using distilled water. But if you do have that issue, Take a gallon of distilled water when you're done, pour it right over everything. Especially this, not really the tube, but this part here. And then uh, take some alcohol, which I'll probably do off screen. I usually have distilled water, which I pour over it. I might do that now, actually. I have one that I can use right handy. And then you take, uh, you know, alcohol, rubbing alcohol is fine. And then you just pour it over here. 
shake it clean and let it dry. Okay, so we're back. So I have some distilled water here that I'm gonna pour over it. So just do that, give it a good rinse. You know, you wanna do this before it dries because you don't want these deposits to happen over stuff. And that's good to me. Kind of shake it dry as much as you can. And then this is alcohol, so I'm just gonna kind of spray it with that. You really wanna pour it over there, but this really does douse it pretty good. So I'm just going in there, spraying that everywhere so stuff evaporates easier. Same thing with the bottom, sides, knobs. And I think that's it. I wouldn't work on this chassis for like a week, just in case, you know, you can blow it out if you want. Some people heat it up and do it and want to rush it. Um, you can actually work on it to cap it, but you just don't want to turn it on is what it is after a week. So I could actually bring this inside and cap it right away. Um, you know, assuming it's just dry on the surface, it should be fine, but definitely do not, do not, do not want to turn it on. That will cause a short because the water will make it just short out. So now I'm just going to take the tube while I'm at it, put it right here. And I will do the same thing with the distilled water. You know, pour it over it, make sure it's good. There it is, if you guys are curious on how to wash the monitor, I will show you before and after pictures now so you can see how it came out. Uh, but here's the before for the motherboard or the chassis. And then here's the after. Amazing, amazing difference that you can do, so. Okay, so we're checking on it now. And uh, what you wanna do every now and then, every couple hours in the sun, just tilt it to its side. You know, obviously you wanna be careful with the tube in the back, but uh, it's drying out slowly. You just wanna turn it every way so that it kinda goes where it has to go to drain. And then I will get this, which is the chassis, and I'll show you how clean it looks. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, if you guys remember the before picture and now the after picture, this is like night and day. So really works well. Now it can be nice and clean for you to cap it. And there you go. Okay guys, hit a thumbs up if you like this video. It's very important that you hit thumbs up more than subscribe. We'd love you to subscribe, but check out our videos. We have tons of playlists on fixing monitors and I've watched a few. You can check them out as, there as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you in the next one.